Hi guys. Well, my daughter sent me a birthday present. And, uh, well, here it is. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a little on the heavy side. But, oh, oh my goodness. The complete paintings of Van Gogh. I cannot wait to show this to you. It is amazing. It is just amazing. Let's take a look. <coughs> Written by Walter and Metzger. Published by Teschen. The Complete Paintings in Van Gogh. Now, I have heard several ways of pronouncing his name. Um, being American, I generally make the GH silent, so pronounce it Van Gogh, <clears throat> but I've also heard Van Gogh, where the GH is an F sound. Um, I've heard it where it's like kind of a gargly sound, Van Gogh or something. I don't know. <clears throat> but instead of stressing over how to pronounce his name, I'm going to say it Van Gogh. I apologize to anybody who knows the really correct way to say it. I hate to break the paper spine. So, contents. Six chapters with an appendix. Um, from what I understand, he was an extremely prolific painter with self-portraits because he couldn't afford to hire sitters so he did himself that's an interesting way of hiding your name I did um, weigh this thing it weighs only just under 10 pounds and frankly, it feels a lot heavier. Okay, making of an artist. The family. Uh, where this is interesting. It's not really what I want to see right now. The paper is um, fairly thick. And they're all like this. What's the opposite of matte? Satin? Satin finish? I'll think of the word in a minute. His early works are really different. Oh, that's right. He tried doing it like a proper painter of his time when he first started out. Very dark, moody, that's a heavy paper, gloss, that's the word I'm looking for. The religious manic, his dad, I think, I have to recheck, but I think his dad was a um, priest father, whatever they call him. And I know that Vincent wanted to go into that, but it didn't work out. Which is just as well.
because we would have lost him as a painter. Okay, I'm going to leap back a little bit because I want to see, oh yeah, this is, this is the Van Gogh that I love. Nice double page. This is when he's, he was in, oh gosh, I apologize, Arles, is that how it's pronounced? Um, I am dyslexic, and even though I do have a uh, an AA, almost all of my language skills were self-taught, self-taught, and uh, <clears throat> I prolific reader. I have an incredibly extensive vocabulary, but I cannot <clears throat> I cannot pronounce it and I cannot spell it. So there you go. Oh that's nice. Rocks with Oak Tree, Arles, July 88, 1888. That's nice. I'll bet he was inspired by his friend Monet with that. Oh, I didn't know he did pen and ink. Wow. A lovely, lovely sky. Wheat fields with stacks. Oh, June 9, 1888. You know, when I first saw this book, I thought it was just going to be, you know, like a lot of um, detail work, you know, like a little section, and then maybe put it all together. But now these are full plates. My goodness, so much talent. Two white butterflies. I've never seen this, but it's, I would look at that and instantly think him. It's just him. That's how he painted.
view of Arlal's with trees in blossom, April 1889. There's the sky that I always associate with him. San Remy. Oh, San Remy. Look at that. I'm hoping that the colors are true to life. I've never seen any of his pictures uh, in person. This is something I've noticed before, at least in his older works. Well, for instance, let's look at, let's look at these. He paints the way you want you, he wants your eye to go. So if the, the landscape is down his brush stroke is exactly in the direction that he wants you to go but when he's doing living things for things that move he does it in a c shape or an s shape almost all the time you can see it on this one better in the cloud see the, the c shape this like here you can see the C shapes and the S shapes as if his hand did that you can really see it in some of his pictures more than others really these trees s s s you know that the wind is blowing and the the little waves of clouds oh see this is like him The S's and the C's and the and the wind and the clouds. They said he um, he was a sloppy painter because he would just stick his brush in the paint and he would get more than one color on it. So he basically was double loading, which I've been actually trying to do. So he would get these changes of color. The blue and the pink and the lavender, the yellow and the blues to make the greens. His, his colors just blended because they were all the same. The eye, follow the eye, follow the eye, up. the S's and the C's. I wonder if that's supposed to have been the moon during the day. It happens. I won't say this is my absolute favorite picture of his but it's right up there and here you can really clearly see the line of the mountains and the s-curves and and the trees 
and the glow. You know, if I don't wear my glasses and I look up at the stars, this is what I see. I mean, I don't see this. This was his. But I see them glowing like that with the headlights and the cars. You see it. And I, I don't know how well you can see this curve. It comes up and around and back down so that you have this really hard bend, this circle thing. This is the one, I think, this is the one that I actually tried to do. But I think now looking at it, it was the wrong one to try first. I should try something, not like that, but maybe like this or like this. This would be a really good one for me to, to practice on and see how he made his strokes. This one would be a good one as well because for him it was simplistic. God, they're so beautiful. So my daughter bought me this for my birthday. Thank you, sugar, so much. I will treasure this forever. It's beautiful. This is the one I was trying. I remember the plants down here. Or this one. You know what? All I remember is that spruce tree and some greenery and the brown, you know, he just keeps doing that same theme over and over, kind of like me. These are beautiful. It's an amazing book. Vincent and his brother Theo. His brother always believed in him. And Theo's wife always believed in him. So it is Seven hundred fifty two pages long, ten pounds, and what is this referencing? Ah, table of catalog numbers, that's a good thing. This is a mighty fine book. Why do you want to do that? There's something wrong. I've got something wrong. Oh, goodness. Oof. I don't know why it's making that squeaky noise. Probably because I bent the, uh, the binder frame thing. But, yeah. Oof. If you... Can, I do recommend this book. I didn't mention it's got a little ribbon. Nice touch. Classy. I'm going to be looking at this for years and finding new things beautiful thank you hey guys thank you for watching have a good day bye